Yo, it's Ravenous Kells, and it's episode 16 of Jizz in My Pants, and we're gonna go ahead and take our pants off and get started. Got the lube? Okay, because I got the tissue. So, I see Blaze 22 and 2 asked, What is. Ooh, asked if I like big butts. <laughs> and I cannot lie, all my other brothers cannot deny. So, yeah, I guess I do. I like Jade's big old butt, that little Mexican burrito of his. Oh, wait, that's not his butt. Anyways. Um, Specialist Bean asked, who was Sergeant Bean, you know, Beanie Weenie. By the way, go check out his new channel because he is an amazing commentator and he deserves all the views he can get. So he asked me, what is your opinion on plastic surgery? Like, specifically girls getting surgery to look better. By better, I, you, I mean usually the surgery makes them look worse or unnatural. I agree with you. Surgery, plastic surgery in general, first of all, costs way too much money. And none of us have a choice when we're born to choose what we look like or what our skin color is or how big or small our eyes are or our dicks. I mean, who cares if you have like smaller breasts than other girls? That's that's just how you're born and it's just genetics and it's what makes you beautiful because if you have like watermelon boobs then i don't know about that and plus our bodies are like proportionate once they're you know made well not all the times but if you get plastic surgery you're just like messing up first of all your beauty your natural beauty and you are wasting money to try to look better and when usually a lot of girls who try to look better it's because they want people to like them or to pay more attention to them and honestly if you do that you are attracting the wrong group of people that you want to pay attention to you so if you guys or if you girls who out there have done plastic surgery or if you men have then damn you just wasted a couple grand which sucks because Think about how attractive it is when you tell someone, yeah, I had plastic surgery on my penis. <laughs> um, okay, I probably don't want to have sex with you because when you jizz, probably some wax is going to come out and not jizz, so that'd be fucking weird. Anyways, um, okay, Kelvig asked, he has two questions. He asked, what is the most important thing to do slash tell a girl if you're in a relationship? Um... Uh, the most important thing to do is to obviously be honest and to tell a girl if you're in a relationship. That's kind of spontaneous. I mean, if you're in a relationship, there's a lot of things you can tell a girl, but main key is to be honest and love her. <laughs> Question two he had was, if you had to choose seven people to fight with against zombies in a zombie apocalypse, who would it be? Seven people to fight with? <laughs> A bear. No, I'm just kidding. I I don't know. Seven people at the top of my head. Kobe Bryant, Allen Iverson, Selena Gomez, Hannah Montana. Wow, I chose people. Two people I like and then two people I don't like. Um, some Something my size, I guess, so it would be fair. <laughs> don't want to get my ass whooped by a big old bear or by something of the size of Repent or For Life. So yeah, that would not be cool. But I can't name seven people. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. Ponage 3D69. Asked, my question is, if I bought you a plane ticket, would you come visit me in Tennessee? Couldn't come up with anything else. <laughs> um, probably, like, not to be mean, but probably not because I don't know you. And that's, that's like, kind of sketchy. But, you know... We can Skype and hang out. <laughs> That's different. And plus, I wouldn't let anybody pay for my plane ticket anyways. I don't like it when people pay for me because I can pay my own things. And I know that people are individuals and they have their own bills to worry about. So I wouldn't let you pay for my plane ticket anyways. And Tennessee, that's kind of like across the world for me. <laughs> ah. Um. Okay. Ravenous... Angel asked, do you still have any friends from your childhood that you are still close with? Childhood as if in like middle school or elementary? Because if elementary school, then no, <laughs> unfortunately. But middle school, yeah, because 
I've kept my relationships with a couple girls, or maybe just really one, and a couple guys, I guess. Yeah, so yeah, I do, and we still hang out from today, and it's really important, because you know how they say, oh, college is when you're gonna meet your real friends, like, fuck that. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I have a couple, but I don't do much. Maybe because I sit here and do this, commentate, talk to a microphone with a sock over it. <laughs> Maybe that's why I don't have college friends. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I choose to sit here and make friends over the internet and stalk little boys. Uh, Legit Bullet asked, If you were to shoot a real sniper, which one would it be out of the Intervention, L9, L11, and MSR? Oh, God, that's hard. I would have to say, since I've never used Intervention and I don't like the L11, and I'm torn between the L9 and the MSR because... The L9 was like my first sniper rifle in any game, so I'd probably shoot that one. <laughs> and then I would shoot the MSR. Repent, Ravenous Repent asks, fight a bear or a pack of wolves. In the end, you die. <laughs> How hopeful. <laughs> we were debating about this over the phone. He's like, can you just give me a hint on what you're going to say? And I'm like, no. And then he's like, oh, you're going to choose the pack of wolves because you're going to go karate on them or something, huh? And I was like, what? No. And my answer is, drum roll, please. That's a terrible drum roll, by the way. Uh, is I would fight a bear because in the end, I've always wanted to hug a bear. And so I would hug it while I charge at it and I'll hold on to it and squeeze it as hard as I can and it'll probably like kill me right there and then but hey at least I've done something I wanted to for a long time <laughs> okay lol wahahaha <laughs> asked would you like to have the best time of your life with a person you never know or would you have the worst time of your life with the person you love I'm guessing that is directed towards Jeed and I would pick the have the worst time with him because that means I can turn things around or we can turn things around and make things fun or we can you know mend our relationship again because we know each other because I mean if you think about it if you spend the rest of your life having the best time with a person you don't know yeah you can get to know them but what if there's like something that you can't stand about them you hate them or you they end up betraying you or something like that you know i mean i guess betrayal can happen with someone you already know but the thing is i already know jeed and i already love him so why would i give that up to start something new with someone else when i can just keep building what me and jeed have so i would definitely do that and MJM Ninja 24 asked, if you were to ever go home to your parents and find a drawer full of dirty items, what would you do? Use them, duh! No, I'm just kidding. Um, I would close the drawer and probably burn it, set it on fire. And then if they're like, hey, what happened? I'd be like, I set your dirty things on fire. <laughs> J3K Jake Gamer asked, if you could travel into the past and future, what time frame would you travel to? Probably back to the 80s, 70s, where everybody wore fancy clothes and the movies only cost 20 cents. <laughs> and chocolate bars were only 10 cents, because I kind of lived in that time period, but not really. It kind of got too high tech for me. I mean, that's how it is. But yeah, thanks guys for listening and ask more questions. Love you all. Bye.